Today we are going to talk about dinosaurs from North America. Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to a brand new video and today I am super excited to be showing you our very first episode of Dinosaurs of the World and this week we will be doing Dinosaurs of North America. This brilliant idea came from one of our fellow viewers, a dinosaur by the name of Sumitra. So thanks to Sumitra for this wonderful idea. So let me know in the comment section down below which country or continent should we do next for the next episode. Let me know in the comments I'm thinking of maybe Africa, China, I'm not too sure. You guys let me know, okay? So let's get started. So the first dinosaur from North America will be Indominus Rex. I'm just kidding. So I have a question for you guys. Which country or place was the Indominus Rex created or born? Let me know in the comments down below. And let's move on with our very first North American dinosaur. So the first one over here, okay, I'm gonna show you guys a 3D puzzle after which we will fix it up and then I will show you a nice model and what dinosaur is this? We have an Echocanthosaurus which means the hind-spined lizard a very nice 3D puzzle to place it right over here as you guys can see we have a very nice setting in the background this is actually a brand new tree I'm really excited to show you guys, okay, so we are now at Acrocanthosaurus. So let's take a look at this brilliant model from Collecte. This is one awesome model. You can actually open and close the mouth. The collision on the jaw, really nice. Acrocanthosaurus, the hind spine lizard, one of the carnivorous dinosaurs, a fearsome dinosaur. Which is your most favorite dinosaur? Let me know. From me, it will be the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And let's move on to our next dinosaur. The next dinosaur. It's known as the Horned Lizard. Do you guys know which is known as the Horned Lizard? Can you guys let me know in the comments? So what do we have here? Okay. The Horned Lizard means Ceratosaurus. A very nice 3D puzzle. Nice orange and black color combination. I love this a lot. Ceratosaurus. And let's see what model we have for Ceratosaurus. We have a nice model from Tarot by Ted. Pretty cool. I love all these black stripes at the end of the tail. Awesome paint job. The Ceratosaurus is also a carnivorous dinosaur. It's known as the Horned Lizard, if you guys do not know. And let's move on to our next dinosaur of North America. Okay, so this is our next North America dinosaur. But we will have to fix this one up to find out what dinosaur this is. So let me try my best to fix this one up. As you guys can see, it is broken into many, many pieces. So it will not be easy. So let's try our best to fix this one up. So you have the body over here, which you need to fix it up. I guess this belongs to here. Okay, now we have the body done. Fix it up. We need to put up the tail. Last piece of the tail, followed by the neck. Seems like we have a sauropod. Over here, we have a Brachiosaurus, the arm lizard, which is a very famous dinosaur as well. One of my favorite herbivorous dinosaurs. So let's see what model we have for the arm lizard. Let's take a look. For 
for the arm lizard, I have a super large model from Schleich. This is actually one of my favorite models as well. It is really huge and heavy, as you guys can see. It is very well detailed, one of the nicest Brachiosaurus model around. Awesome stuff. This is one huge feller. You do not want to mess with this guy. He is really, really large. I'm gonna place him right at the side, but you guys can't really see its head, and it is so big, okay? Right over here. And let's see what is our next dinosaur. Let's move on. This will be our next North America dinosaur. And let's try to fix this one up to see what this is. Have to fix up the bottom, the back, I mean the back of the body. And now is the tail. Looks like this guy has a super long tail. Okay, this is not part of the tail. Probably this. Okay, followed by this. So this guy looks like some spikes on his body beautiful curvy tail if you guys know dinosaurs really well you might guess it this by now what dinosaur is this it's pretty simple it is a diplodocus okay diplodocus and what is the nickname of a diplodocus it is known as a Double beam. What a beautiful and gigantic dinosaur this is. So you guys can see that the Diplodocus has a very long and curvy tail. I'm gonna show you one very very awesome model of a Diplodocus from Safari Limited. So just hanging there. So over here we have a super cool model of a Diplodocus, the Double Beam. What a beautiful model, I love the paint job, I love the color combination, I love all these patterns, I love all these spikes. Really really awesome and I love this elegant and curvy tail. What a beautiful model, this model has been super well received by a lot of collectors all over the world, okay? And this Diplodocus is just amazing. Where can we place this big feather? I'm gonna place him right over here, but he's gonna block everyone. Okay, Ceratosaurus, you are going underneath him. So, take a look at this really awesome stuff. We have Brachiosaurus, we have Acrocanthosaurus, we have the Plotocus, and we have two Ceratosauruses over here. And we shall move on to our next dinosaur. Our next dinosaur from North America is none other than the most terrifying and one of the largest dinosaurs of all time. The Tyrant Lizard King, Tyrannosaurus Rexy. I'm just kidding, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And if you guys do not know, Rexy from Jurassic World will be appearing in Jurassic World 2. That is super cool. So over here we have a little T-Rex with chomping action from Jurassic World Hasbro. Okay, so after this I'm gonna show you a super cool T-Rex model from PMSO. And this T-Rex is known as Tyrannosaurus Wilson. It is nicknamed Wilson by the manufacturer from PMSO. Super cool as you guys can see this T-Rex it is really well detailed and well painted one of the best T-Rex models around I'm gonna place him right at the back I'm not too sure whether we have space for him right at the back and this figure or rather this model it you know, came with this super cool diorama base so we can just put the legs onto this um, holes over here Way to stand better. Really nice, I love this a lot. I'm gonna place this aside and let's move on to our next dinosaur. And let's see which dinosaur shall we take a look at. So this is our next dinosaur, I guess you can guess it by now by looking at the frill and the spikes. But let's fix this one up and see what dinosaur this is. 
the body and arm followed by the legs now we are done in the tail and the head so what we have here it's a styracosaurus and the styracosaurus is known as the spike lizard really awesome 3d puzzle over here I love this color super bright and vibrant color I love it and let's take a look at our Cyrechosaurus model and this is from favorite.co a Japanese toy brand which produce high quality dinosaur toys and we have a Cyrechosaurus pretty well detailed as well very nice model place him next to the Diplodocus and let's see what are the North America dinosaurs we have in this video our next North America dinosaur will be this the Chasmosaurus and this is a very very vintage dinosaur toy from Jurassic Park it is super cool I love this a lot it actually sounds but you know, it's ran out of battery so I have to replace the battery really soon so this is actually a vintage Hasbro toy from 1997 really awesome toy you can actually bend his head doing this pressing the, the legs backwards and it will go into this rampaging action really awesome figure action figure is really nice one of my favorite as well super cool he does look a little bit like a pentaceratops and a triceratops and this is a casmosaurus just look at the frill it's very different from that of a uh, triceratops and pentaceratops so let's move on to our next dinosaur of north america but let me place this awesome casmosaurus on top of the waterfall and our next dinosaur is Okay, let's find out what dinosaur this is. So I've actually forgotten forgotten to tell you guys the nickname of Casmosaurus is known as the opening lizard. A pretty weird name I would say. So what dinosaur is this? This is the double crested lizard. I love A pretty cool model I would say very nice so let's take a look at what other model we have for this dinosaur over here so I have a very nice model from Schleich and this is a double crested lizard as well Dilophosaurus really really awesome details I love all these red horns on top of the body or rather spikes or little bumps Really awesome stuff. This articulation on the mouth. Awesome. So let's move on to our next dinosaur of North America. So our next dinosaur is actually a very famous dinosaur. I think many of you guys will know this. The Triceratops. The three horn face. It's also from North America. Seems like a lot of famous and popular dinosaurs are all from North America. So let me know in the comments which other continent or countries we should do next. So we have a three horn face over here. Very nice. I love the horns. They are like very dirty and um, redded. Really awesome stuff. And this model is from Mojo. Pretty cool, very nicely detailed, very heavy model. Gonna place him over here so that you guys can see. Wow, we have an awesome lot of dinosaurs, and we are actually left with just two more species of dinosaurs. And the next one it's a Coelophysis. The Coelophysis is known as the hollow form, okay. It's partly because of its hollow bones bones I mean it's because of its hollow bones so we have a very nice model of a 
Silo 5 Seas and this model is from Safari Limited. Awesome paint job and awesome details. This is actually one of my most favorite 2017 models. Really awesome. Awesome stuff, the Silo 5 Seas. Can you guys let me know in which movie did the Silo 5 Seas appear in? Is it like Jurassic Park or The Lost World? If you guys know, let me know in the comments, that would be super awesome. And let's move on to our very last dinosaur of North America. So let's fix up our last dinosaur of North America. And I guess this should be pretty easy for you guys to guess it. It's so simple. Okay, this is a pretty well armored dinosaur. Let's try to fix this one up. Okay, where is it? Okay, this way. So I think we have got the body fixed up. Now for this missing leg. And then the tail. Okay, how do we do this? Okay, now for the last part of the tail, as you guys can see, there's a club at the end of the tail, so that is pretty obvious. And the head. So over here we have an Ankylosaurus, which is known as the Fused Lizard. Okay, Ankylosaurus appeared in Jurassic World as well. Okay, it was killed by the Indominus Rex. Very poor thing. Okay, I actually like the Ankylosaurus a lot. It's very well armored and it has this wonderful weapon at the end of the tail, this club which is really powerful when it swings at a full pace at its opponent that will be really damaging. So for the Ankylosaurus, I have a nice model from Terror by Batat. Pretty cool I would say. Oh this is actually a Euplocephalus which looks like an Ankylosaurus but it's not. So I beg your pardon, this is not an Ankylosaurus, this is a Euplocephalus. But they do belong to the same family, so that is super cool. So this is the end of the last, I mean the end of this video and the last North American dinosaur of today. So let's have a look at all the dinosaurs. What a brilliant group of dinosaurs. We have the T-Rex, we have the Brachiosaurus, we have Dilophosaurus, we have the Diplodocus, Ceratosaurus, hmm, Acrocanthosaurus, Triceratops, and Styracosaurus. Silophysis as well. So we have a brilliant lineup for North American dinosaurs. And maybe we shall do a few more episodes and then we can do like a better video or a comparison video to see which continent has the most powerful dinosaurs. So let me know in the comments which is the next continent that we should be working on for our next video of Dinosaurs of the World. Thanks for amazing support. If you managed to watch the entire video, just want to say a huge thank you to you guys. You guys have been really really amazing the support recently has been tremendous so if you like this video just give it a thumbs up share it with me comment you guys know i read every single one and i try my best to reply to each and every one of you so if you are not a subscriber yet hit the subscribe button down below press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever i upload a video Thanks for amazing support and I hope to see you guys tomorrow in the next video. But before you go, you can check out these 4 other videos that I have recommended. I'm pretty sure that you guys will like it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Goodbye. Well, we are still here. Thanks a lot for your amazing support. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Goodbye.